All right, so today we are going to just get our motherboard set up. Uh, we already set up the the rig, the rack, not the rig, the rack. Before this video, setting up the rack, if you do it correctly the first time, it'll probably take you about 10 minutes. It's actually less intimidating than you think. Um, and then I'm gonna have Akil explain like what kind of motherboard we got and why we got it. And this is the motherboard here that we're gonna screw down in this video. So this is a Rogue Strix um, that we got on Amazon. We specifically looked for NVIDIA SLI compatibility. What that'll allow us to do is basically put two GPUs in here um, at, and be able to use them at full capacity. Um, so that's why we looked for that NVIDIA SLI. It specifically matters for the GeForce 3060s that we got. Um, anything after that, it shouldn't matter for. Um, so to screw this on, what I basically did is made sure that this matched up with the holes first. Then everywhere I saw there being a match, I put these down in there. So there's, so where each of those screws are kind of pointing out of the, the rack, that's those are gonna go into corresponding holes in the motherboard? Yes, okay. exactly, yeah. So that sits on top of here perfectly, and then we'll screw that in, and that'll be the security of the motherboard that we need. Okay, and then the other question is, where will the GPUs get slotted into this motherboard? So there's two different things that we can do. What we're gonna do for this one is just slot them specifically straight on here, um, because we have the space to do so. After these two, we're gonna use risers to put them um, on the top up here to be closer to our fans okay and a bit away from and there's kind of a process there's some precautions i think we want to take when we do install the gps because you you don't want to snap them and break them because they're expensive so right. we'll, we'll kind of go into depth on that in another video about placing the seating the gps into the motherboard and getting them set up on risers but i think that's about it we're intentionally keeping the the um the motherboard in the center because what we're going to end up doing is to the left and to the right side of the motherboard, we'll end up placing our power supply units. So by keeping the motherboard in the middle, we're having, um, we'll, we'll have just an even distribution of like the actual power supply units. We're actually only gonna have one power supply. Oh, we're only gonna have one, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. But we only have it in the middle because that's where the holes were placed on the rack to put them. We had no oh, okay. other place to put Okay, them. so that means it doesn't matter at all for, <laughs> for what we're doing. We're doing it just because that's where the holes are on the center of the rack. But would we ever have the ability to uh, add a second power supply yeah, unit with this, with this setup? We can, and that's why we have space on both sides where we can. Okay, so we're gonna, we only need one power supply unit, but if we ever wanted to, we have the option yep. to easily slot in a second one. Cool, awesome. So we're not gonna record, we're not gonna show us screwing these things in because hopefully you know how to do that if you're watching this video. Bye.